is an F350 to hold with the core team. Tony, that was amazing. You've got a bit more in store for us. Uh, well, today we're going to give you an exhibition of car crushing. Now, these are end of life vehicles that were somebody's pride and joy, but they're going to be hit with a monster truck. So if I was a car, this is where I would like to go out. They're going to get recycled, though, so they've been fully depolluted, and they're going to end up with a can of baked beans or washing release, believe it or not. That's what most cars end up as. Um, but yeah, but if you like this, make sure you check out the UK Monster Truck Nationals held here in August at Santa Pod. I think we've got, I think we've got nine monster trucks now. There, yes, yeah, so we've actually got one more going. Um, they're coming from all over the world. We've got some monster trucks coming from Sweden. Um, yeah, and it is. If you like this bit of the show, it is a monster truck show. We do monster truck racing head to head. So there's two monster trucks, and with our racing, we don't just go in a straight line like in the track racing. We actually have to do a turn and then race back over cars. But to make it a little bit harder, when you're driving a monster truck, you can't see a lot, and they put lane markers. If you put, hit a lane marker, you get a five second penalty. And put it this way, I can do the course in about 20 seconds. So you cannot make up five seconds. If you hit a penalty, that's it. You really gotta hope the other guy messes up. You said that you own lane markers, but your your truck is absolutely massive, so how much room you got to work with on either side? Uh, from the scrap cars, you've only got three feet either side of the scrap car to get it through. So yeah, you've got to be really careful. The reason why they do that is the monster truck tires are about four foot wide, so they're making sure that you don't cheat and go over the side of the cars and not actually go over the top of the car, the cars fully. But we don't just do that, we do monster truck freestyle as well. Monster truck freestyle, there's 90 seconds to show off in a monster truck. So, so what they do is we put, um, uh, we stack up some of the cars, we take away the dirt ramps, uh, take away the metal ramps, uh, we bring in um, caravans in the arena. So if you get, ever get stuck behind a caravan, we can finish them off as well. Uh, and also we bring in a bus. Now what I did last year is I actually stuck a caravan on top of the bus and I jumped the bus and the caravan. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do now is a demonstration. Um, with the monster truck, if part of the monster truck's coming towards you, it's not planned. The wheels on the monster truck are half a ton of each. The monster truck has got a, a remote ignition interrupter on it which is a remote control just for the monster truck's engine and we have to test that before every throw. The way we test it, you see me climb into the monster truck in a second, put my five point harness on, my helmet on, or my hands device on, put my racing gloves on. You'll see me fire up the monster truck, I take my hands off the steering wheel, hold them up into the windscreen so the crew guy can see that I'm not pressing any of the buttons and then they physically turn it off remotely. On my monster truck it takes 15 seconds for it to reignite to re the ignition system and then we can get on with the show. But guys, do you want to see some action here at Santa Pod's Ford Show? Yeah! Oh, you can do better that. Do you want to see some action? Yeah! Good, because I know where the car park is. Look at that sound of bear, guys. So yeah, they have to go through these safety checks. Obviously, when you work with a five and a half ton vehicle, it goes, goes zero to 60 in about five seconds. Got 2,000 horsepower. You've got to make sure that it's safe to operate. Make sure that if Unfortunately, if someone does lose control, we can kill it and no one gets hurt. So they're just going to run through those tests. While we do that, I was investigating those cars earlier on and I noticed 
The end car, that little Peugeot, it's got a big new speck of green paint, and that comes from tail end of Swamp Thing. As he landed, he slapped in the back end. And in fact, let's go through these cars we're going to be crushing today. The first one is BMW, I think, 1 Series. I think we can also be happy to see that one get killed. Next up, many people's first ever car, a Nissan Micra. If you've been stuck behind one of them on the motorway, I'm sure you'd be happy to see that one get gone as well. We've got a Saab, you know what that is, and a little Peugeot 207. Yay. Pretty little thing, that one is kind of sad to see go. But it's what you've got to do. You want to keep the crowds entertained? Do you want to be entertained? Do you want to see these cars get crushed? Yeah! Oh, thank you very much, guys. I think we're almost set. They're just strapping Tony in. The important thing he said, you can't wait to see from him there. I was fortunate enough last time you see, let me go up there. When you're in that, you literally see a hundred foot in front of you and then sky. And you'll see, he's going to launch that thing into the sky. When he's up like that, he's just looking at the clouds. Here we go, the air. The kill switch. We're all working, we're all good. We're going to wait for the ignition system to reboot. Once it's rebooted, we're going to reboot Swamp Thing up. And then it's time for the show.